Everybody, ever since Marvel has built up the cinematic universe, everybody is trying to do that. I feel like the, the next people to do that is gonna be Fast and Furious and Jurassic Park. Blue is the last of her kind. You'll never capture her. We thought you might know someone who could help. It's time to get lit. So thank you guys for coming out to the stream. I really, really appreciate that. Um, especially as today being the first day of All Hallows Eve. Now, um, as you guys know, for the rest of this week, next week, and the final week of October, I am going to be playing spooky games. Um, tomorrow is going, we're going to start either Alien Isolation um, or, we're, it, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to see if I can get Heavenly to, <laughs> to play with me. Um, that'll be dope because that's one of the scariest games that I've ever experienced um, And we're gonna play on the hardest difficulty So I'm gonna see if I can get him to agree to play that if not then we're gonna play agony tomorrow um, I was gonna play overwatch, but I think I'll alternate between overwatch on one day and then uh, Another game on another day and then so on and so forth So we got another episode of canon culture that I'm filming with you guys So today we're actually going to talk about something very interesting Let me go ahead and close overwatch here because this is this is pretty serious. I so now that we've done that, I can stop screaming because I don't have my headphones on anymore. So check this out. As some of you guys may or may not know, James Gunn has recently uh, been considered to not only write, but allegedly uh, direct uh, a Suicide Squad 2. Now, I'm actually fairly excited at this idea. Now, James Gunn and all of his work, I'd have to say, you know what? Give them a chance, you know, Disney don't really, they're, they're being such a family brand, they're just like, nah, we don't, we don't really care for your tweets 12 years ago, like, that's just, we know you're not that person no more, but, you know, it's just, it's, it's a Trump world now, so everybody's gotta come either politically correct or, you know what, you just, you just gotta be extra thug with it and own it, and unfortunately, this is just one of those situations where, uh, they were just like, hey, you know what? We can't get behind you. You're gonna have to go and do something else But personally, I think James Gunn is a great director. I think he worked really well with his team from what I can hear um, I, You know and Dave Batista just seems really really behind it. I know he's filming three other things right now um, So for him to jump onto Suicide Squad would be really good as far as like Dave Batista, he can do whatever he wants. I think he's dope I loved him as Drax. It's, it's painful to see him go somewhere else but I think what the DCEU really needs is a shakeup right now. And I think James Gunn is willing, like, is able to do that. Because everything up until this point has been riding the coattails of Zack Snyder and the stuff that Zack Snyder wanted to do. And the stuff, and like, just the agreement that him and Warner Brothers had. And whatever Warner Brothers has been doing, like, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it don't make any sense. So... I'm not saying it's the worst setup ever, because obviously nobody has attempted a Justice League on this scale before, and I don't think even Warner Brothers knew uh, to what scale they were trying to make it, because I don't think they were, I, this entire time I've known for a fact that they have not been trying to match Marvel one for one. It, I know it has seemed like that to a lot of people, but I want to let you guys know this is not the direction that they were going in. That's really explaining why they built their universe the way they did because it's like superman then superman introduces another character those two people have a movie and then that movie introduces a third character and then that third character has their own movie then the second character has their own movie and then the, all three of them come together there's a fourth member added then after that the fourth member has their own movie and then so on and so forth so it's kind of like trade for one and another so like it's one leaping over the next everybody ever since marvel has built up the cinematic universe everybody is trying to do that i feel like the the next people to do that is going to be fast and furious and jurassic park blue is the last of her kind you'll never capture her we thought you might know someone who could help Stop the like i i genuinely think these two are going to cross at some point like that's just the way i feel um, I, I don't, I don't know how that would work, but I just feel like everybody's trying to do that. 
that Mummy movie that came out was supposed to have an integrated universe with um, Luke Evans' uh, Dracula, which was a great movie. Everybody said it was cheesy, but I enjoyed it. Um, I know they were supposed to have like this dark universe thing going on that kind of fell through because the Mummy was horrible. Anyway, back to DC. What I think they should really do is they should figure out an end goal point because I think uh, Marvel right now does not have that. May I don't know. I could be misspeaking because I feel like Kevin Feige is one of these guys who has like an end point in mind and he has like predetermined things that he would like to happen. Um, so it's kind of like an outline, not a specific detail for detail, like beat for beat, like what's happening in every single movie. I feel like he just... He's kind of like some of these anime and like manga writers and stuff. Whereas like, like, you know, Kishimo Kishimoto and Akira Toriyama, they don't write everything panel for panel. They like write bullet points and then they give it off to a team of interns and then the interns interpret that and they create the manga. And then that manga is given to one of these publishers and then the publisher creates the anime and then they fill time and space uh, with however much information that they have and they're like, oh, okay Well, these are the what the panels look like and stuff like that So we need to draw beat for beat these selected things and then they just add filler in everywhere else That's the way a lot of stuff has been always been made and it's just always been like that So I, I just feel like Kevin Feige has this outline, but I don't think he has an end anywhere in sight He's kind of like Ubisoft in that regard. It's like ah, it's going good. We'll just see where it goes We keep hitting all these bullet points. I'll just keep adding more uh, whereas DC was really just like, hey, let's just make a bunch of movies and then make sequels to those movies and then find some dope stuff. And then when we do that, let's make more movies about that. Because I'm sure nobody expected Wonder Woman to do as well as it did. Like, honestly, after seeing Wonder Woman, I was like, yo, this was, this was dope. That was, I felt like that was their version of Deadpool. It was like their breakout one that was just like, oh, we're just gonna throw this one out there. We're not, we don't really care how it does. And then boom, it explodes. And you don't expect it to have like the fan reception that it has. So I wanna see Cyborg with his own movie. I think that would be dope. Um, this new Titan show. I just really wish Warner would get whatever kind of combination of things that they have going on. They have so many properties all over the place that are just not doing well. I just really wanna see more of it like come together and make a coherent story because then they have like this Gotham show, then they have Arrow, and they have Flash, and like none of these things connect except for Arrow and Flash. And then everybody wants to forget that Smallville exists. So then when they got Supergirl and they were like, oh, we're just gonna put this on this channel and just completely forget it of that, that Smallville existed. But I mean, whatever, that's cool, I guess. So I don't know. And then they have this new Krypton show, which I know they're not, directly responsible for but it's just it's just too much all all over the place just too much that's that's my opinion i think they need some new creative like people to come in and shake stuff up which actually leads me into what i really wanted to talk about on today's canon culture um i know all this james gunn and dc and marvel stuff led you guys in here and to like listen up until this point i really appreciate you guys listening to my stupid ass opinion all the time but I'm, as, as I'm slowly getting more and more into production and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff and seeing behind the scenes with a lot of films and stuff that I'm personally working on, that I'm overseeing, that I'm working with, you know, Universal and Paramount and stuff and watching these things being made. Like, did you guys know there's another Jurassic Park movie? Like, of course. Now, would you be surprised if I told you there's five more Jurassic Park movies? Yeah, I know, right? It's just wild. Why would they make that many? Now, let me, let me tell you something. A lot of these companies, they have these people who get in position of power. And this is just my opinion, you know, and I'm, I'm just noticing what I notice. Um, they have these people who get into positions of power and they're just never fired. Their positions are never shaken up. Like James Gunn leaving, like being forced out of Disney is like, that's a very like, oh shit, this happened type of move. You know what I mean? Like, it's one of those things that we weren't expecting it. Um, and then also, uh, Zack Snyder dropping out of Batman versus Superman. Yeah, we weren't expecting, uh, you know, him to have a tragic, uh, you know, situation in his family. And uh, so then we brought in this other guy and then that guy got two things confused. It's a, it's a lot like the new Star Wars movies. It's like three different directors, three different uh, sets of writers, three different storylines. Like, there's no way you could pick up somebody else's story 
And like, that's like if I told my buddy, hey, write this story for me, but only write half of it. And then I'm gonna take the other half and I'm gonna write the end. Even though I've never read any of yours. Like, it's, how do these things even connect? You min end up missing characters, there's no world building, there's no character uh, uh, relationships being developed. None of that stuff happens. So, you know, when you just jumble things together because of all of these people that are in these comfy positions, you know, they're, they're rarely shaken up, you know, newcomers don't really come in a lot and nobody really like shakes up the game like that. Then it's like, okay, well, we're stuck with the same sequels over and over again. We're stuck with the same storylines over and over again, because none of these people move on. None of these people get fired. Whereas it's so interesting because on the other half of it, while you have the people up here at the top who are just constantly you know making making more and more money and just like super greedy and stuff like that they don't want to innovate they don't want to try and be creative they don't want to you know like stick a pin in the wheel i guess you know like they don't want to take too many chances they don't want to gamble on stuff if it's not a sequel i don't want to do it uh type of mentality so whereas on the bottom you have these like film students and all these hungry creatives that that really want to get into the movie industry and really want to create great stuff but they're lazy. Either they're lazy or they're not making the right moves. Like, it's so interesting to see the amount of like scripts and storylines that come across my desk. Like, some of them dope as hell. Oh my God, need to be greenlit. This is amazing. This would make a great horror movie, this, that, and the other thing. But then when it gets in front of the executives and the producers who make the decisions, they're like, no, we can't guarantee it's gonna make money. No, we don't really wanna put marketing behind this. No, we can't really do it. Now these new and creative ideas that these hungry film students and aspiring filmmakers, they don't get to make any of this stuff because all the people up at the top are just like, nah, you might take my job one day. I don't think I can do this. So you end up with remakes, rehashes, sequels all of the time because everybody's so comfortable. So I think at a certain point, I think, Actually, to be honest with you guys, I think most people are too stupid to see what's going on. I think most people are too ignorant as to what's going on. I think most people don't care as to what's going on. As long as they pay their $13 to go to, go to the movies and $50 for popcorn and they sit down and enjoy a two and a half hour ride, I don't think they care. And once again, the people at the top are worried about the people underneath them because they're hungry and they really, really want a shot. So the only way you get up here is if somebody dies or is fired. And as you can see, James Gunn being fired created a new opportunity for somebody else. I don't particularly care for these shared universes anymore. I'm kind of fed up with it. I'm done. And the only time I would actually, the only thing that would probably make me actually care is if, I don't know, maybe some thought was put into this shit. Like, I feel like Kevin Feige just does it different, you know? Like, I don't know. I, I would love to have a shakeup happen. But I feel like most people, like I said, don't care. It's not one of those things that is going to change anytime soon. Um, but I do actually like that there are new mediums like pushing shit forward. And what I mean by that is, let's take Shane Dawson, for example. Now, I've wanted to do a video on the Shane Dawson, Jake Paul thing for a while, but I think the only thing I'll touch on for today's episode uh, is the fact that Shane Dawson, for the first Two to three days that he was launching every single episode of this Jake Paul series was getting 17 to 19 million views. Meanwhile, The Walking Dead has been at an all time low. Like, it is so interesting that an internet personality has created something that is destroying one of the most popular television shows out there. I mean, it's not that popular now, but you know what I mean? Like, it is these online creators who are using the medium that they have. They are using the opportunities that they have because nobody else will give them a way in. Meanwhile, you have people like King Batch, Daystorm, Amanda Cerny, they created Zeus. The Zeus network is essentially this entire, almost like MCN type thing where they were like, you know what? Nobody's giving us a shot in Hollywood. Only a few people are. We're only getting these small roles and stuff, but we make more content, put out more funny shit. We work harder than the people that are already in these positions that are already getting hired for these acts. Why don't we just work for ourselves? So Zeus was created and now they have like all of these Viners and Instagrammers and YouTubers underneath them. And they're just like, listen, 
You put the projects together, we put it in front of people, they pay us, we pay you. That is how Zeus works. It is an agency, essentially. So I like that. You create your own opportunities. Meanwhile, the rest of the world just sees them as really popular internet people. There is bridging the gap and somebody's gotta do it and it's happening whether the industry likes it or not. But what do I know? I'm just a nigga with 3,000 subs, you know? I, I don't even get that many likes on this video. Like, did y'all like this video? <laughs> so anyway, this has been your boy Jay Sama. Make sure to like today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. I will be back tomorrow with another live stream and another episode of Canon Culture. Um, in the meantime, I am going to be talking to you guys in the chat. I do have to scroll back because I was seeing a lot of, like, really good points being made. Uh, so I definitely want to get to those. So... Oh.